Gas prices going up. Let's take a ride where I'm going to show you five ways to lower your gasoline bill. Let's go. Welcome to Minding My Money Mondays, a common sense talk about money matters. All right, so before we go anywhere, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get on the phones and we're going to use an app. I use Gas Buddy, but apps like Waze, GetUpside, and even Google Maps all have similar functionality. So we hop into Gas Buddy and we're going to hit Find Gas. And because it's location based, it's going to look and see what stations are around me. And we can see that mobile is at 369 and BP is 379. Now, prices are reported in the app based off of users when they go fill up reporting prices. And they do that to earn points because you can redeem those points for chances to win like gas cards and things like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to change it from current location and we're going to go to our favorite stations. And my favorite stations looks like right now Clark is charging 315 and Luke is 317. So 379 minus 317 that's a 62 cent per gallon price differential. So it's definitely worth me going to my favorite gas station to get gas. So let's head that way. So as we head on out, we're gonna look at the gas stations that were reported in Gas Buddy. And sure enough, looks like the BP is showing the 379. And looks like the, uh, the mobile is showing the 369. So Gas Buddy was spot on with uh, their reporting. And uh, we can go ahead and head to my favorite gas station now. Now, there is a second way for you to save money using Gas Buddy above and beyond just checking out the prices. And I talk about that a little bit later in the video, so make sure you stick around for that. And here we are at one of my favorite gas stations, Luke, and we can see the price is $317, just like on Gas Buddy. Now, you might be wondering why I'm going here versus going to Clark, where it was $3.15. And that's because the second way to save is by using a rewards program. So let's take a look at that. So by joining a fuel rewards program, you can go ahead and even save more on your gas. So out here at Luke, if I fill up here, I get five cent off per gallon, which is cheaper than Clark. So that's why we're gonna fill up here. So let's go ahead and fill up. So when I filled up, there was a slight issue in that my rewards didn't apply at the pump. But the thing is, is, if we go into the Gas Buddy app and look in my account, I can see that the five cent per gallon was actually applied. And hey, I can just go ahead and redeem that on the next trip. But well, let's assume and play like, you know, the five cents was actually applied here. So according to my receipt, looks like I took on nine gallons worth of gasoline. And if we compare buying the gas at my local station versus buying it here at Luke, we can see that that is $5.58 worth of savings. Add on top of that, the five cent a gallon times the nine gallons, that's another 45 cent. My total savings is $6.03 per my fill up. Now, let's just say that I'm filling up every single week, 52 weeks a year, and I can save that much. That's $313 that I'm saving on gas every single year, okay? And if I can do something like uh, invest that money into something that's gonna give me like 5% return on investment, say maybe like some dividend paying stocks, then hey, that's gonna be 15 extra dollars that I earn on doing that. And that's the difference between those that have a poor mentality and those with a rich mentality. Those with a poor mentality look at ways to take their money and spend it and buy things that are going to make them look rich, while those with a rich mentality look at ways for their money to make them more money and actually make them rich. So my question for you is, what's your favorite gas station and do they have a rewards program? Let me know down in the comments below. People all over the United States are watching this video and you letting them know what stations offer rewards programs will help everyone out immensely. Hey, and there you go. Or like my folks on the East Coast say, boom. Now, remember I told you there was a second way that you could save with Gas Buddy above and beyond just simply downloading the app and using it. And that's to go ahead and sign up for the Gas Buddy rewards card. If you download the Gas Buddy app and then go ahead and get the Gas Buddy card, you can save even more money every time you fill up. The card is free to get and you could save up to 40 cents per gallon every time you fill up if you become a premium member. Now, premium membership does cost $9.99. However, 
you get to save 20 cents per gallon on your first 50 gallons. So that's $10 in and of itself. And hey, that automatically pays for the membership. I'll put a link to the Gas Buddy app down in the description of this video. And if you sign up using my code, after your first fill up, I'll save 10 cents per gallon. Now, you can then go ahead and get your own code after signing up and you can pass that on to your friends and both you and them can then save on gas. So let's head to the next stop and on the way, I'll share two more ways that you can save money on gas. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to buy your gas strategically. Gas stations know that there's really no brand loyalty, okay? Many people don't differentiate between buying gasoline at one station or buying it at the next. So ultimately it ends up coming down to price and gas stations know this. So in the early morning or the late afternoon hours, what they'll typically do is adjust their prices to get customers to try and come in. So if you know this, you can just simply try and buy your gasoline during this time. The second thing to know is that gas stations also change their prices during the week. So on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday when demand is high, gas stations typically tend to charge more for their gasoline. And according to Gas Buddy, gasoline is typically cheaper earlier in the week. So if you combine these two timing strategies when you buy your gasoline, you can save even more money. Now, the next thing you want to do is fill up. Now, I know some of you all are laughing out there like, fill up, what does that mean? Well, there are plenty of people when they go and get gasoline in their car, only put $2, $5, $10 of gas in at a time because that's all they need to get to their destination. Not only can this cause higher repair bills in the form of burnt out gas pumps because you're constantly running your car on E, but you might not be saving the most on gas every time you fill up. Remember, gas prices are fluctuating all throughout the week and you wanna buy your gas when it's cheapest. So if you fill up on like a Monday or a Tuesday, you are absolutely ensuring that you are saving the most on your gas. So here we are out at Strachan Van Til in Whiting, Indiana, where I'm gonna go grocery shopping. And one of the reasons why I shop out here versus in Illinois is because there's a difference between the taxes between the two states. So, and that doesn't only apply to groceries, but it also applies to gasoline. And that's one of the reasons why there's such a big difference between the gasoline prices out by my stations versus here over in Indiana. So when I bunch my trips, not only do I save on groceries, but I also save on gasoline. And that's something that you should consider too, okay? Let's think about this. If you had five errands to run and you ran each and every one on a different day, you're probably gonna spend more on gasoline and driving around than if you just made one single trip and bunched them all together. So another way to save on gasoline is to bunch your trips. Now, let's go get some groceries. So now that we're done shopping, it's time to head home, but not before my bonus tips. And if you've gotten value out of this video, then please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button because it helps more people learn about money saving tips just like this. So here are some bonuses. First things first, monitor your driving. Slow starts versus harsh accelerations, coasting to stop versus slamming on your brakes, and using cruise control when you're on the highway are all things that will help you get better fuel economy and in turn, help you not spend as much on gas. And then the second bonus tip is to maintain good vehicle care. So making sure that you have like a clean air filter and that your tires are properly inflated, as well as that you have a tight gas cap on your car, all are things that rob you of gas mileage. So by doing all of those things, you'll save money. And there you have it folks, five tips to help you save on gas money. Now, if you want more tips like these, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. New videos are released every single week. So until we meet again, I encourage you all to mind my money and I will catch you all next Monday. Take care.